फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई वर्क प्लेस एट राना घाट वेस्ट बेंगाल इंडिया लेटेस्ट ऑब्जर्व फिकम स्पीकेशन ऑफ दिस वाइट कैट्रैक्ट द मेन इंसिएशन इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द पोस्टीरियर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द लिम्बस एट राउंड इलेवन ओ क्लॉक अ साइड पोर्ट इज मेड एट राउंड एट ओ क्लॉक विद कैराटोम इट सेल्फ एंड नाउ द एंटीरियर चेम्बर इज फील्ड ऑफ विथ एन एयर बबल Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this white cataract. When we apply the dye underneath an air bubble, the concentrated dye sticks to the anterior capsule very firmly and very quickly. The dye is not diluted by aqueous, and the dye cannot stain. the corneal endothelium because the dye is over the anterior capsule and it doesn't come up and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose i do not use sodium hyaluronate in these white cataracts not even in intumescent cataracts a side port is made on the left side of the main incision and now is the time for capsulorexis a bent needle 26 case bent needle is used to get a flap and there is some amount of intumescence in this case and in such cases i always do two staged rexis first a uh, mini rexis and then after aspirating some cortical lens matter i enlarge this mini rexis into an optimum sized one now my way is not to use sodium hyaluronate in such cases though i am not against it but i never use sodium hyaluronate to get a mini rexis i spend some time to decompress the capsula bag by aspirating cortical lens matter from the anterior aspect I rotate the nucleus, and lot of cortex from the posterior aspect comes anteriorly along the equator. In some cases, when I find that the capsular bag is nicely decompressed, when I find that the intralenticular pressure has been reduced. thoroughly and the anticapsule will be flat after injecting visco i stop aspirating the cortical lens matter inject visco use a vana scissor to cut the margin of the minirexis and then use the utrata forceps again to enlarge this minirexis into an optimum sized one in this case the size of the endars rexis was about 5.25 mm friends if we can do this kind of rexis in such cases do you think we need a femtosecond laser actually if we can increase our skills to a certain level we don't need many sophisticated equipments many sophisticated equipments just take money from us our hard earned money is taken by the companies and now watch the indirect chop the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and it is chopped if we can 
divide the nucleus like this we don't have to to a trench spend about two three minutes and use a lot of ultrasonic energy just have to hold the nucleus and chop and then emulsify the pieces and use very minimal ultrasonic energy deliver the ultrasonic energy at the iris level or in the at the anterior part of the capsular back so that the corneal endothelium is nicely protected this nucleus is not hard but even in hard cataracts if we manage the nucleus nicely the cornea remains crystal clear next day And nowadays most of the machines are good you have very good anterior chamber stability and the incidences of fissure end has come down to a great extent however if fissure end occurs we must learn to manage the rent very nicely we must learn anterior vitrectomy very nicely even in some cases we may have to do pars planar anterior vitrectomy so we have to learn that also lot of things to learn it's not that we are anterior segment surgeons and we should not go to pars planar pars planar anterior vitrectomy has become in the domain of anterior segment surgeons cortical clean up is being done at this time we can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration cannula but this instrument works very well and in many instances this is a safer instrument than bimanual irrigation aspiration here the vacuum is in your hand you can you can use zero vacuum you can use reflux you can use high vacuum just in fraction of a second but with foot it's not so quick and that's why simco is safer than bimanual irrigation aspiration however bimanual irrigation aspiration is a good instrument and we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and the lens has gone into the capsular bag now watch the optic of the intraocular lens has been nicely overlapped all around by the rexus and if this happens the lens gets never tilted the lens is always nicely centered and the lens never tilts if the optic of the intraocular lens is nicely overlapped by a thin rim of anterior capsule all around this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with balanced salt solution and the main wound usually doesn't need any hydration it has been constructed in such a way that it will seal by the high intraocular pressure as we form the anterior chamber nicely 
the main wound is nicely sealed and now check the integrity of all the wounds few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical competence